Stellar aberration is a phenomenon where starlight will enter the telescope at a slightly different angle depending on what time of year it is due to Earth's orbital motion around the Sun. For the purposes of this illustration, I'll exaggerate the angles involved, but in reality, the shift is only about 0 0.006 degrees at most. But now with stellar aberration included in the simulation, you can see that the photons of starlight are entering the telescope. Now let's make the telescope tube transparent so that we can see the photon of light traveling down the tube to the back end. Now of course in this example the telescope is simply filled with air which has a minimal impact on the velocity of light. But in 1871 astronomer George Airy tested the hypothesis that if you filled a telescope with water which would slow the light down that you would see an increased amount of stellar aberration due to Earth's orbital motion as the photon passed through the water in the telescope. In the 19th century, it was thought that light was traveling through a medium known as the luminiferous ether, and as Earth orbited the Sun over the course of the year, you see a shift in the star's position due to stellar aberration because the light is entrained in this medium that has a velocity vector relative to Earth that is changing due to our orbit around the Sun. This led to the hypothesis that if you slowed light down by using water or some other dense medium to reduce its velocity through the telescope, that you would see a greater amount of stellar aberration because it was thought that light was entrained in this ether, and so it would not affect the lateral motion caused by Earth's motion relative to the background ether. If we look at these velocity vectors of this photon as it approaches a water-filled telescope, it was believed that the water would slow the light down along the green axis through the telescope, but not the red line representing the amount of stellar aberration caused by light being entrained in the luminiferous ether. It's important to note that a lot of space deniers today will make this assumption implicitly. Whether they explicitly state that they believe in ether or not, they will want the viewer to believe that water should only slow the light along the long axis of the telescope, but have no impact on the lateral velocity of light relative to the telescope caused by Earth's motion. Of course, this begs the question, how would water know to only slow the light along the long axis of the telescope, and why would it do that? If the answer is that the photon is entrained in the luminiferous ether, and therefore the lateral motion is still there regardless of the light slowing it along the long axis of the telescope, this needs to be stated explicitly, and evidence for this luminiferous ether needs to be provided. In this illustration of a water-filled telescope, the photon slows down once it enters the telescope's water-filled tube, but the angle which it exits the telescope is the same as the angle with which it entered the telescope. This is what Airy observed. The water in the telescope had no impact on the angle of stellar aberration. The water had no way of knowing that part of the angle that the photon entered the telescope at was due to Earth's orbital motion and to leave that relative motion alone as it slowed the photon down. This is what it would look like if the photon was entrained in ether that would continue to drag the photon even as the water slows its progress down through the telescope. Entrained in ether is just a way of saying that the photon is embedded in the medium, and therefore it will be essentially dragged through the water by Earth's orbital velocity relative to that medium regardless of the water slowing down the progress of the photon through the telescope. Of course, this is not the result that we see in reality, but this result is only predicted if the photon is embedded in a medium that maintains that lateral velocity regardless of the slowing effect of water. Until next time, thanks for watching and clear skies.